welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. It's that time again. Yes, fishing time again. But first, a little bit of a talk about what's in the contents of the magic box. Ta-da! Hopefully, you'll get to see them. I'll show you a couple of three of them. There's far too many lures in there, let's face it. They don't all catch fish. The good ones are good. The bad ones, well, you just got to keep them. You know what lures are like, just in case. You never know, there might be a day when that awful, horrible, ugly lure actually catches something. Here's two or three of my favourite ones. A change of spectacles is required for the viewing of such a creature as this weird looking thing. I do not even know the name of it. Mike gave it to me. He said, try that one, Dad. He gets sent lures now and then to try out. I don't know what it's called. It might be called a slider. I don't know, that goes sort of zigzag. But underneath, that just happens to be the colour. It's got a pink belly, a couple of treble hooks there. Hopefully you can see all this, guys. Underneath, I just bend that back, a stick-on lead strip. Now, we haven't put this on. That's just as it came. Now, whether that's how you buy it, I don't know. And I'm sorry that we don't know the name of that one, but some of you lure buffs out there actually might. Fingers crossed, hopefully you can see that one there. Anyway, it's got a little split ring at the front. No, you know these lures, we're just showing you guys. We're not selling them. We don't sell lures. We don't do all we sell is this. By the way, we do actually sell, ta-da, new range of clothing from Mike. If you want to support us, check it out. But we don't sell tackle. Treble hook's on there, but this piece at the back sort of fascinates me. It's just a push-on. I think it pushes on. It's had a few fish on it, this one. A twisty little tail there. Now, I used to do a lot of lure fishing many, many years ago. I don't do so much now, I've got to be perfectly honest. I would not even have thought of using a lure like that. But now, so many people go pike fishing, they do like soft rubber. Sure, they get chewed by pike. You can see his teeth marks all around the back of this. Now, that also tells me something, that the pike hit the back end of this as well, going for this squiggly tail. So, should we put this in the water? Should we, should we see if I can actually catch something with it? Let's get down to one of the lakes, give it a go. And by the way, don't swish off because there's some underwater footage that I personally found fascinating. Listen. Now you'd think that was a gimmick. I'd almost think it was a gimmick. It's got rattles in it. I don't think it is a gimmick because we could hear this on the underwater microphone in the camera. Stay tuned and you will hear it as well. Now you can just see the weird action this has going through looking down on top of it but wait till it goes under the water or you can't hear anything at the moment you will in a minute You can see here that weird twisting action that's always working, even if the lure is fish slow, of that wonderful looking wiggly tail. I've got fish on guys, on the hard lure. Oh, I tell you what, oh he's splashing. Here he comes, here he comes. Not a big fish, he is absolutely, absolutely he's gonna throw the lure any second now. He's gagged on it. It's not a big fish at all. Am I pleased with it? Yes. What is oh, he's coming out. Oh. First time I've used this lure, I guess about a six cast. What's it called, Michael? Wolf lure? Uh, I don't know, what. it's like a uh, glider, but with a wolf tail. Glider with a wolf tail. Sounds cool, anyway. <laughs> Hit me like a ton of bricks and just look where he's hooked. I'm not gonna bother with a net. Check that lure out. He's hit that crossways right across there. Good effort. There he is. Nice. Nice, uh, shows how angry he was when he hit that. He was one aggressive puppy. Just going to be very careful, make sure I get a good grip. <laughs> I do like it. Finished fish, not a big fish, but I mean, look how he's hit that right across the middle. I feel sure that that tail has contributed to the fact that he clamped on it so hard crossways. You're obviously on the feet. There's the lure that did the damage. Here is the pike. Look, we know it's not a big one. We don't get 30 pound pike. We don't fish where there are 30 pound pike. We're just saying you can have some great action using hard lures, 
mean looking fish like this, he had no trouble nailing that slider. Let's get it back because I want to get another cast in. There we go, gently back with him. And he's going to go away pretty quickly I reckon. There he goes. <laughs> this is a damage report when you're bike fishing and you get nicked by your own hook. Oh come on, I had to keep going. This was an official lure test after all. Now, as good as that lure was, Mike gave me another one of his. By the way, those lures aren't mine, this isn't mine. This one he calls a buster jerk. He went over to, I think it was Sweden, pike fishing. They, they gave him one of these lures. It's called a Strike Pro. Maybe that's a make. Mike's calling this a buster jerk. So I'm calling it a buster jerk. I don't know. It is nothing short of lethal. Now I've got this one on a fixed wire here, but what it does have are those same lead strips there, so you can have, I've only fished this one, to be honest with you, standard lead strip on it, that's all that uh, it came with. It's got a substantial number of teeth marks, and all you do is get yourself a coil of this, it's like a stick on lead strip, you peel the paper off it like this, and it's tacky, so you can actually change the weights. Don't you just love lures? Look what they do, look what they do. They just, they just get hooked on each other everywhere, especially in my tackle box. You can change the strips, and I'm guessing you could put a longer strip on there, right? You could put the strip maybe at the back. I don't know, I'm just suggesting this to give you a different action. Or you could even double it up, put two strips on there to make it sink a little bit deeper. Now, Mr. Piggy Wiggy Tail here, he has a couple of hand grenades in there. This one, Mr. Strike Pro, we're calling him Mr. Buster Jerk, has I don't know, a few split shot. Oh, you'd think it wouldn't work. You'd be very much mistaken. Looking at this lure from the surface, you can see it's got a weird, very wide action. It probably travels what, 18 inches across from side to side, and that's running it just below the surface. Of course, you can make it run deeper by adding the lead strips, but the general action seems to be trying to get a sort of rhythm with it. Um, it's a sort of jerk on the rod top, you know what they say, a jerk at one end and a jerk at the other, that's fishing. I know that one, it's a funny one, ha ha. I oh, know I'm a jerk anyway, but still, what can you do? Look at the action on this. I've no idea whether I'm fishing it correctly, but it seems to be this lure likes to go from side to side. It does seem to throw the switch to make pike strike. I normally fish with a vein lure, hard vein lure, at the front like a chin, if you like, for beginners. It makes the lure go down and it sets its own action of wobbling up. In this case, you have to use the rod top to impart action to that lure. But goodness me, although it's flying around all over the place, it certainly does get some strikes from the pike. So there is no other choice but to take it out, give it a try, throw it in the water, and please do watch what happens in a minute. This is, as you see it, first cast with this lure on this day. Just watch as I go to bring this lure in closer and just be amazed at the power and speed this pike actually pushes water as it tries to get the lure. I got this fish hooked up. Unfortunately, the battery died on the camera and I wasn't able to show it to you. Anyway, don't forget to cast a lure along those margins. They often lie in close and it's a great spot for pike. Guys, hooked up to a pike on that big slider lure. Nice looking fish. Took me right in close. I don't know if you're going to see him before the hooks ping out. Hopefully you will. There he is. If I can zoom in on. Well, I try and avoid using net because as 
many of you know, net and trebles don't go well together. And it's, uh, if it pings off, it pings off. I've got a witness next to me. <laughs> Head faded. If, if it falls off, he's going to count it as... There, there we go. There's the fish, there's the lure. As strange as it may seem on that one, it took it in close and I feel sure that little rubber tail did actually have something to do with it. Nice looking fish. There you go, there's the lure there. Look, it's not a big fish, we know it's not a monster, a monster pike, but it's a nice looking fish, it's in really good condition there. I'm certainly pleased to catch it. Beautiful tail. And that's where all the power comes from at the back end with the pike. Get this one back. At least it shows you those hard lures do work. Dog. Well, surely that couldn't have been luck. What do you two guys think? I'm going to swing him in for you. I feel that little rubber wiggly tail is doing the business. There you come, buddy. Just get the forceps in the base of the bend of the hook and you can literally look just just grip them tightly that'll just fall out like that no problem at all a nice pretty little fish well pleased with it hard lures strike again fish on guys fish on again absolutely right by the edge of the bank oh, not a bad one I'll try and get the camera around there for you there he is. There he is, there's the lure. There he is, just hanging, he's just nicked on it. That is quite surprising. Light's low. Let's get him in. Again, I'm going to try it without the net. Come on, mate. He doesn't jump now. It's a much nicer fish, this one, guys. We got him. Got him by the scruff of the neck. There's the lure. I'm in love with this lure. In fact, I may marry it. Really nice one. <laughs> Look at the jaws on that. That's a nice pike. Beautiful condition. Little clip in his fin there. That's a beauty. Well pleased with that. Hard lures. Listen, I know they work. I've used them for years. But some of those shapes, like that twisty tail one, man, that could be the thing of the future. Twist on the tail of some of my other lures. Let's get it back. There he goes. Back to fight another day until he sees my lure again. Well, 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 wouldn't you just know it? Who should rock up next? Yeah, Mike. What's he using? He's throwing an animal lure. These have a snake action to them like this that are unbelievable. They're a little bit tricky to get the right action going. They have a sort of slower action and a faster swimming action like this. You see they bend? They have. <laughs> 452 dried peas inside it. There's no question the pike gonna hear it. A couple of big trebles there is. I'm gonna read it to you, fish action. 10 inch, 10 inch lure, and it says moderate sink. It's called a fire tiger. That is one mean pipe lure. Anyway, Mike soon hooked up. Unfortunately it happens when we're filming, we try to mess around filming underwater and what happens? We don't let the fish. That's true and you'll actually see this one come off of that single hook in a minute and swim away. Well nobody likes losing a good pike do they? Even these guys. But Mike got a second chance, he hooked up again and this time 
on the fire tiger. He got it. Just told that was a really, a really aggressive take. Look at the colours on that lure. He's absolutely slammed it. Just a straight, constant retrieve. That fish action, action pike has a real kind of S-like swimming action to it. You just do a fast crank and it just swims it does, for itself. Yeah. Really, really good lure. And what a, what a take. Absolutely ripped into that lure. Probably our favourite colours here at Totally Awesome is that green and orange. Hot what colour. A, what a really aggressive take. Let's get the net. There we go. Right. Let's get him back. Must have seen it well in that clear water. Yeah, thing. I saw him come for it, yeah. Just let him recover, he's off, look at that. Perfect camouflage. 12 pike hooked and 11 landed. It can't be right, can it? So I feel I've got to test it again. But I'll tell you what, a lot of tooth marks on it. Will I be lucky again? First cast, can we? Now I'm still really not quite sure about the sink time on this one, you know. So I'm just going to sort of suck it and see. I've got the drag cranked up. I'm on braid. I'm on braid and I'm on tenter hooks. I just have a feeling that there's one in this bay. Right, like a little bit faster. And make your sink a bit deeper. Because in the winter there's no weed, so I feel I can afford to go down a little bit deeper. It's actually a fabulous late afternoon here. Looks superb. Sun's out, a little bit of late winter sunshine there. Just to warm the bones, just a touch. Tempered, however, by a cool northerly wind. It's very fishy. Oh, there won't be one in this bay. For sure. Not a very big one. Don't tell Michael. There he is. Not a big fish. But as you can see, pike and they love that lure. As we say, not a big fish. Another pike. And do you know what, even though he's not a big fish, falls out, even though he's not a big fish, still well pleased with it. This lure is something else. It's so good, I'm thinking of putting my wife on eBay and moving in with this lure. I'm saying, Nothing at all. There we go, boys. Number three. Let's cast this old pipe. Oh my god. He's doing something else, isn't it? There he is. Zoom in on there for you. <laughs> Camera's falling over. You guys just gotta promise me you don't tell Michael I came back for another test. A bit bigger, they're getting bigger people. They're all getting bigger. I don't know what to say, I really don't know what to say. Six. I've been here about 40 minutes. One angry pipe. Come on. 
Well, he's really clamped on that. You want to see how he's clamped on that lure? Absolutely chomped on that one. Come up, come up. Bit bigger too, bit bigger. Come on. Right. <laughs> Not bad, is he? And he's absolutely chomped that lure right smack in the middle, out to where my fingers are by the hook. Safest place is to get rid of those hooks. There's one. Shank of the hook like that, it's out. Drop the lure in the water. Don't lose your forceps, and there is a prime predator on a lure. He wants back. You know, sometimes when you're fishing away like this, you think, I'll cast for another area, but I've just nailed three pike in the one area, which, oh, Jesus, right behind it. Nearly four, and it makes you wonder. I wonder if, because I'm casting at a different angle, I had no takes that way. I come the other way, but I'm still covering the same ground. I, I sort of don't understand that. I've done a lot of pike fishing. Just by pulling the lure in a different direction across that, we've got to call it the swim or the area or the bay, it seems to sort of flick a little switch with them. It's either that or the fact that I've had a couple of jacks as all that activity and thrashing around has turned on the slightly bigger pike, maybe, and they're all really looking around and say, hey, what was that guy chasing and hitting then? Just could be something in it, I don't know. But I'm tempted to throw to the left. I really, really badly want to throw out in the bay. But something, my instinct is telling me, I've got to still work this bay until I'm absolutely sure it's stone dead. Well, there we go, guys. The old kanji rod. <laughs> Number seven. Oh, he's got something like a big roach inside him. There we go. That's good fishing. Fantastic sport I've had. Cracking fish. And do you know what? That's got to be a cracking lure. One of the best ones I think I've ever used. That really is. Something about the action on this lure. No, we don't sell them. But I'll tell you what, boy, do they work. I better get home. As long as Michael doesn't find out. I've just popped out for a couple of hours. Lure testing, it's work, lure testing. Oh goodness me, I'm not don't think I'm here to enjoy myself. I'm not. Well, we have been fishing and showing you plenty of pipe being caught on hard lures. But what's Mike got now? Can you believe it? What on earth is this lure he's using? He looks to me a bit like a frog. As you can see, this is a soft rubber lure and it's for surface fishing. You probably use this mostly in the summer and that you can even see the eyes on this frog. I mean, nowadays, some of these soft plastics are made so well, they're molded so well, designed so well, and they have perfect camouflage and painting they really do look like the real thing. However, we don't sort of know. I've never seen a frog swimming like this. He looks like he's gone. He looks like he's got the breaststroke he's doing uh, on cocaine. I don't know. He's just, there he is, static. Look. So don't be afraid to leave it static and just pop it. And I think that's the way to fish over the top of weed beds. Let it just sit there, let it rest, and then give it a few pops. And you can see very, very 
effective looking for a frog and it's got tassel legs at the back that give it a bit of action. I mean the front half is not seen out on the water really but there we go a jumping one and yes it's taken the frog so far back we need to send for a brain surgeon. Well, you can see how far that, that has absolutely sucked that frog so far back down. Unbelievable. Let's just get in there without getting hooked. Now, this is going to be interesting, guys, because you've got to find out where those hooks are and not put them in your hand. There he is. There's Mr. Flo Froggy. You can see he's got some really realistic eyes. In fact, when you look at the eyes of the pike against the eyes of the frog, just like that, I mean, that's really realistic, isn't that? Great, great bit of action there. Lovely looking markings on this pipe. Fin perfect, all the way down. Beautiful olive green on the back. Not a big fish. Do you know what? That's my first fish on a frog. Oh, oh. oh no, it's a sea lion. But I was soon back to those hard lures, and which one was it? Yes, it was indeed the Buster Jerk. This could be the one, guys. This could be the one. This was proverbial last cast territory. Good fish. On that butter jerk, but I'm really impressed with it. Lovely looking fish. Let's get it back. What a session, what a lure. Now, if you're a beginner, please make sure you don't tie your fishing, your beloved expensive fishing lure, straight onto your nylon fishing line because Mr. Pike, with his teeth, will bite it straight off. You need a wire trace, and for that, I use. Binoculars on. Stand back, lie down all you pike anglers who like that light wire. I'm using some stuff years ago called Tide Cheater. We used it on the reel, on the whole reel for dropping down fishing in fast tides. It's cabled, 40 pound breaking strain. I don't really use, I don't like that light wire. Cut yourself a good long length like this of wire off. This is how I make my traces up. A barrel swivel. Everybody's got a different way of doing it. I'm just giving you my way of doing it after 50 odd years. I tie with this cabled wire, one overhand knot like this. Hopefully you can just see that pulled down. You can pull it down using either your teeth if you actually have shares in a dentist or lock on a pair of forceps and give them a, a little tug down like that. So easy, make your own traces. Of course you can buy them in the, your tackle shops. Go in if you want and buy your lure traces in a tackle shop. This way you can customize them, the length, the breaking strain, the swivels, everything. Then I just take my forceps like this, lock them on nice and tight. I just roll the first bit there, one turn. Don't let it fly off so fast, it takes your front teeth out. Otherwise a second visit to the dentist. It's one, two, three, four, Ooh, 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 that was the wrong place. Dear, it made my eyes water, that one. As you can see, I was doing it for the camera. <laughs> Got to laugh, haven't you? Oh, I haven't. Could have been my, uh, my, wedding, my wedding gear gone for good. The tag end on, keep the tag end just like this. You can see it there. I'm going to snip it off, right? I'm going to do this down here. I can't do it on camera. I'm going to hold it with my other fingers because I want it on the table. 
snip it off, and I've got the pieces of wire there. There's my swivel. Now, I don't like the swivels that I'm gonna do this shape, that overlap. I think we call them link swivels. I like this type of swivel, which is a swivel at the top here. It's a sort of what, a similarity to a, what we used to call a cross-lock lure years ago. So it goes, the lure goes in here, slide the lure on, and then when it goes back in here, there's a little sort of lock to it. So it's always under sprung tension. And I think that's important. So, on we go. One, look, you can do two overhand knots if you want. You can, I do it. Job done, pulled it down. Pulled it down with my teeth, entirely up to you. Or most people will want to use, sensible people, not like me, will want to use forceps. Now, be careful where this one's going. One, two, three, four, five. That's six, actually. Didn't come off that time. Just pull it a little bit tight. Tag in, sticking up. Get your scissors and hold the loose ends. Keep it down there. There is my trace, ready-made, easy just to snap on a lure. They're very strong. They have a strong breaking strain. It's just looped in there. And as you can see, my lure's there. I've got this great big length of 40 pound wire. Listen, guys, don't think the pike gonna go, oh, I mustn't take that. It should, the, the pike angling book thing, the, it says we must only use 25 pound wire. I've used 60 pound wire and caught pike. It's better to go too heavy than too light, I assure you. And listen, you wanna get out of snags as well, don't you? Get that lure back. So there we go. Gives you beginners a guide, experts, you don't need to watch it, do you? That's for beginners. A basic pipe trace. Now let's get back to the water and some more lure action. Well, guys, have got a nice pike on. On that plug, I have no idea how I was fishing it. It was the first cast. I'm grateful for it. I'm not going to net it because I'm worried about the spare hooks in there. But he's certainly eating it for sure. Nice pike. There we go. Look at that one. That is beautiful condition fish. I'm just going to get hold of him properly. Always be wary of trebles. Get a good grip in that membrane. There you go. Cracking looking fish. The plug is down the hatch. Book. It's buster jerk time. <laughs> a third cast, the pike nailed me again. It's just hanging there on the bottom. Oh. I mean, this lure must be amazing. I just chose it out of Mike's collection just because it had the right, what I call roach size that I knew were the bait fish. About the right size. Man alive. And they absolutely hammer it. Look, guys. Not a big, not a big fish, not a big fish, but he mullered it. I've got to go, I've got to go. I've got like 40 minutes fishing here. That's all I've got, and I've got to try and catch another one. <laughs> another one. Maybe this lure, <laughs> this lure should be licensed. Guys, that's five pike on it. I haven't been here 30 minutes. Some lure. And as all fishermen know, there's always that last cast. The winter sunshine, the still of the lake, the birds twittering as they went off to their winter retreat. It's a sheet of glass. You've cast 5,000 times. You might have caught nothing. And then you have that one last cast straight towards the setting sun. A few turns of the reel, and you're in. I couldn't resist it, guys. Bust a jerk again. Nice fight this time. 
<laughs> Man, he's digested it. Not as tight. Now, the plug is right inside his throat this time. This time, I'm going to try and net it, I think. Take a look at it. I feel this one's a double, guys. I might just chin it. The thing is, if you're chinning, you have to be careful of the hooks inside. I think I'm going to go for the net to be safe. Come on, baby, and you come. <laughs> oh, that's one angry pike there. Hopefully, we're safe with that one. Absolutely superb pike on the buster jerk. What a beauty. This one, people, is the one I've been waiting for on that buster jerk. I've filled the fishes around. You tell me. Calm down, Eddie. Cut my fingers on the hooks, getting them out. Oh, my God. 16, 17, 18, I don't think it's a 20, but what a fabulous looking fish. That is a beauty, isn't it? Absolutely mint on the buster jerk. Let's get it back. A fabulous looking pike. What a beauty on a lure. Away you go, bud. Thanks for watching the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. I hope you enjoy that. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little tingly winkly notification bell that way bing bong you know when a film goes up normally it's every friday on seven o'clock but often we throw a midweek one up there as well and don't forget to hit mike's ta outdoors i think i think it's six hundred and fifty thousand subscribers and something like 45 million views it's gone mad meanwhile Meanwhile, you guys need to hit that bell because I want to get 200,000 subscribers and it's going slow. Hit that bell for me, help me out. I can't have my son beating me all the time, can I? A long way to go to get 650,000. Watch both channels, they're both fun. Enjoy and we'll see you next time out on the water.